Hey YouTube, the Doppler effect is a change in frequency caused by the relative motion between the signal source and an observer. In Doppler radar, this pitch shift can be used to tell how fast an object is moving. In Doppler ultrasound, it can be used to measure the movement of blood within veins and arteries. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can measure Doppler shift using the PC or laptop with which you are watching this video. In the traditional Doppler effect demonstration, the source of a single tone is swung on the end of a rope. As the source approaches and recedes from the observer, the pitch can be heard to climb and fall. When the source is stationary, sound travels towards the observer as a series of compressions and rarefactions of air, with regular spacing based on the frequency of the source. When the source is moving towards the observer, the compression waves are bunched up, increasing the frequency with which they reach the observer. When the source is moving away, the opposite effect occurs, lowering the frequency. A much easier demonstration, which you can do at home or in the classroom, is Doppler sonar. Go to audacityteam.org and get Audacity. It is free audio editing and recording software, available for Windows, Mac, Linux, BSD, and is distributed under the GNU General Public License. After installing, run Audacity and generate a tone. I'm generating a 2 minute tone of 18 kHz. Anything between 10 and 20 kHz should work, depending on your speakers and microphone. Once generated, I minimize the track, rewind the cursor to the beginning of the file, and hit record. Once recording, move an object towards and away from the microphone at varying speeds. After the recording is finished, change the visualization from waveform to spectrogram. This shows the recording with time as the x-axis and frequency as the y. By zooming in on the 18 kHz section of the spectrogram, a single tone we generated becomes visible as a straight line. The waving lines which extend above and below 18 kHz are the Doppler shifted reflections which bounced off the moving object. When the object is stationary, sound from the speakers travels out to the object and is reflected back to the microphone with no change in pitch. If the object is rapidly moved towards or away from the microphone, something different occurs. The sound waves leaving the speaker remain at the same constant wavelength, unaffected by the object's motion. But waves reflected by the object are compressed or stretched out depending on the direction of travel. In the spectrogram, motion towards the microphone results in a signal above 18 kHz, and motion away from the microphone results from a signal that is below. By measuring the magnitude of the change in frequency, it is possible to determine both the direction and the rate of the object's motion. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.